Honey, allow me to be your sign that you have been asking for and been needing to let go of that situation that has been doing nothing but causing you stress and anxiety, honey. It is not worth it for it to be living in your mind rent free and you're not being paid for it, honey. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Scorpio, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot message reading, tarot messages reading, I suppose. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do because that's how I keep up with you guys is through the comments, Scorpio, as well. If you enjoy this reading or you just didn't draw my vibe, Scorpio, I'd be really appreciative of it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. Um, and Lastly, before we get into this weekly, these weekly messages for you today, Scorpio, I just want to remind you to use your intuition because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. I do with my tarot cards, my tarot readings at least, Scorpio, are just here to use some food for thought, perspective to consider, but never making a choice in your life. And with all that being said now, Scorpio, let's get into your weekly messages. I pulled some cards just to see where you guys are currently at, so let me show you them currently. <clears throat> you have the Emperor card, Archangel Michael, stepping forward for you, the number four. So write down the number four for numerology to look up later, Scorpio. We have the Knight of Water, really good card, or the Knight of Cups, the normal tarot, because cups is water or water is cups, I suppose. Uh, you have Ace of Fire or Ace of Wands coming in for you. Really positive cards, Scorpio. And then the Lover's card, Archangel Raphael, in the number six. So, uh, first and foremost, Scorpio, write down the number six for numerology as well as that four to look up later. Uh, just to see how it correlates with your messages this week, but also be open to working with both Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael because these two Archangels are the ones that are stepping forward to you. Um, so if your belief system subscribes to it, you know, what you practice, what you do is none of my business. I just let you know, like, your options, right? What options you can do. Uh, so taking in this message just off first impressions before i piece this together it seems to be scorpio a lot of forward movement i know for you guys for past while now you guys scorpio have been in i don't want to say necessarily like a rut maybe you'll say it's a rut scorpio but i uh feel it's almost like this loop that you are in like a mental well i even feel i'll just say like depressive loop right where it's just like there was something that you couldn't quite overcome you were having some good days and you're also having some bad days with something um but you never could quite actually overcome it it was just kind of like you f for a while the scorpio it feel, feels as if like you kind of have just been uh, there's like a phrase I've like recently heard is like copium or something like that. Just something to uh, uh, keep you like sustained for a little bit, just to cope, to keep you to the next day, right? No real issues being resolved, nothing uh, signifying you going forward. Uh, now I see forward movement. I see things starting to come up for you. So based off of if some of you Scorpios have been following my readings for a while, it seems to be you guys have finally solved like that final piece of the puzzle. You've broken some type of a uh, cycle in your life. So that's really wonderful to see. So um, <clears throat> how do we even want to piece this together? We're going to put this one here. Then we're going to do this one here, this here, and this here. All right. Uh, I always see tarot cards as like a big old puzzle. <laughs> so I pull the cards how they will piece them together, how I feel it's fitting, Scorpio. So we're going, to, we're going to get into this Emperor card for you. This card says organization and logic, structure and discipline and leadership. So I'm going to be, uh, be pulling some extra cards as well, Scorpio, just to get some more information as well. But generally, when you have the Emperor coming in, this is someone that I'm kind of hearing like newfound motivation. Something's kind of like um, almost released from you, Scorpio. Ah, okay. This is what's released from you. You've put some distance between like uh, 
wait, wait, okay. So let me, <laughs> just, my mind is going a million miles a second. <laughs> Scorpio, don't mind me. Let me show you these cards and I'll explain why. So with the Emperor here, like it feels as if like you're starting to finally, like the engines are starting to go. You're starting to, Scorpio, really p pick up pick up the pace essentially right starting to take things serious more serious I'm not saying that you weren't before but it's almost as if like a newfound um like a newfound how do we say newfound motivation newfound like passion we'll say scorpio and so the extra cards i pulled for you the seven of wands with the five of swords right five of swords yeah five of swords. i don't have my glasses scorpio bear with me five of swords and the nine of swords this is what was being released for you scorpio this is what the common theme for your cycle for a while now of where things felt like a little bit up in the air you didn't know how to really where you stood with certain things or where certain things stood with you. It felt everything was like a little bit hazy, right? You couldn't make too much sense of things. And so now it's almost as if like something's happened here. I'm seeing some type of closure here. I don't know what happened because obviously for general reading Scorpio, it's impossible for me to hone in what exactly was the specific thing that unlocked in you guys that finally allowed you to complete the cycle that I kept seeing you in. Um, but something has happened. You finally have released like this Nine of Swords, which has been really haunting you, Scorpio. And just allowing you to just like take a more active role in your own life. Um, I know it keeps I keep on speaking as if as if you are um, as if as if as if uh you guys haven't been productive, Scorpio. But it just now it feels like thing the things that you're doing are actually sustaining you or fulfilling you now. Whereas before it felt like empty calories. You may have been consuming the same foods, right? Whatever that foods is for you, Scorpio. But it wasn't sustaining you. Like now, like you know, it's almost as if like <laughs> now if we're gonna go into that narrative of a food. Here's my analogies. Um, you know, maybe you had like a what's the word? You know, like the food worm, tapeworm in your stomach, right? Where the f the worm or the parasite that like people can end up eating that just like, you know, you end up having to eat like a bunch more because the tapeworm like eats for you. You get the point, right? Um, now it's kind of like that parasite or what that nine of swords is finally seems to be uh, released for you. So really, really good. And so with that newfound freedom, you're adding that structure that the emperor we uh, that we talked about. And then we go into this Ace of Fire or this Ace of Wands for you, Scorpio. This card says an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, and changing your life now. See, this is where like the uh, main focus point here is for you. Scorpio is like you're it's like thinking in the now and really being extremely motivated in the now um thinking like every single day waking up and being like all right what can I do today because it's it's just it feels like you found like a newfound excitement with life right you just feel reignited some your flame has been just reignited as cheesy it might as it might sound I feel like it'll resonate yeah <laughs> of course the cards of course the cards honey <laughs> Well, reflect in this away. Ah, oh, Scorpio. And if you have a friend that doesn't believe in tarot, honey, show them this reading if they know your life. So the clarifiers we have for that Ace of Fire, we have the Two of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Fool card. <laughs> so I, when I said like you, your flame has just been reignited, the Fool card came flying out for you, Scorpio. And this is just the energy I feel like you're really exuding now where you just feel a lot more the inhibitions that I feel like I talked about with you guys last week, Scorpio, you finally have started to let go of it. You finally have identified where it is you want to start investing your pentacles into, Scorpio. Um, and yeah, with this two of cups here, I mean, regardless whichever way you want to flip, flip this, twist this, turn this, whatever, Scorpio, um, whether it's a social or romantic like whatever like very very good two of cups it just feels like you found your flow you found where it is you need to 
uh, you found direction essentially in your life now Scorpio and because you found that direction that feels good to you things start coming forward to you right it's almost like you finally identified the uh, block that was going on in your life because then we have the knight of water coming in for you or the knight of cups so this card says falling in love or a wedding proposal the need to balance emotions uh, invitation to a social event so these cards kind of give like a vague synopsis of things, but the Knight of Cups comes in. I mean, you know, that could be like the person coming in offering their cup with that Two of Cups. You know, once you identify your path and start going forward, start meeting the right person because that's what a cups can represent, right? Um, but I'm going to more so speak in terms of the narrative of an opportunity, right? Because that's how I also see the cups. So uh, I see things. <laughs> I see things. I see this Knight of Water, this Knight of Cups being the representation, Scorpio, of uh, something very fast paced coming towards you. So let's get some clarifiers on this. Yeah, I definitely see it. Um, so the clarifiers we have for you is the Queen of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands with the king of pentacles <sighs> so one thing i want to like really pinpoint here is the three of pentacles here which is confirming to me um when i saw the knight of cups or your knight of water scorpio as like an opportunity because of this three of pentacles here this is like a signature like collaborative energy uh contracts of course but contracts obviously are not going to be involved in all of y'all's life so this is more so just like a uh some type of just collaborative energy working together with others right which would make even more sense as to why you had this knight or two of cups scorpio for your ace of fire ace of wands bro you know and then it's almost just like we see here with the ten of wands i can't help but feel like this is like what like let's just say scorpio hmm. let's say before you always had issues being vulnerable or you you know you really wanted a relationship for so long but you always had like some pent up issues, some trauma that you needed to work through. This 10 of wands here, I feel like signifies to you, for me, is like, that was like the weight that was been being lifted, that was like been weighing over your head heavy, right? You've almost found like purpose in realizing maybe, you know, you, the issue that you've always had with like intimacy and just being vulnerable, Scorpio, you figured it out what you needed to do. Um, or like figured out like you overcame that issue and now you're actually open to be ready to be vulnerable so now you're really ready to take active steps towards getting to this place of attracting someone into your life now you know just as an example right because with this queen of cups here and this king of pentacles this is someone who really um has it going like really associates their stability with like their close circle right really wants to have very close intimate connections and being very extremely happy in this state uh scorpio i mean this is something that's usually um i don't want to say it's unlike your nature but i more so feel like it's unlike your nature for what it is that you've been exuding for a while right again it just feels like some type of weight after this weight being lifted off of your shoulders there's just like this allowance or this sense of freedom that you've had or developed scorpio that's just allowed you just to uh, appreciate things more, appreciate your, your things in your life more and just want more of that, right? Uh, it's almost like a level of cynicism, like the cynicism notch for you, Scorpio, and like how you're viewing life has been turned down a little bit. Uh, and so you're starting to like people a little bit more. You're starting to uh, be a little bit more optimistic. So I like that. And so, we have the Lover's card coming in for you, Archangel Raphael. This card says intimate relationships, carefully weighing your decisions, and good health. So I originally was going to go into this reading being like, okay, like uh, Scorpio has like some tough uh, decision to make. But now I'm not so sure, especially after these clarifiers. This really changes things up. It really does seem to be like this state of where it's like, 
I'm watching a Scorpio becoming ready to be vulnerable. Oh, they're vulnerable in some capacity. Okay. So the cards we have here, the Five of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Tower card. Now this card was inverted and normally I never point out what cards are inverted and aren't because I feel like that is just extra information that just clouds your brain for no reason. Um, but in this deck, I like the tower card because it's so symbolic. It's usually a card most people try to avoid um, and they don't really put too much effort into looking into it. But in this deck, it's beautiful because the, the people that are falling out, the individuals falling out of the tower, when it's inverted like this, it's, come, it's like they're coming together. So for some of you guys, you might be really through like the healing of like some past issues. You might be healing like that Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords energy. Maybe just you finally healing um, from old wounds and that's allowing you to come back together with them again. For some of you, it could just be back to allowing you to have more intimate, allowing you to you're opening up to a new people, right? But that is something I just feel inclined to point out, Scorpio. But yeah, with these clarifiers here, it just seems to be, especially with this Five of Cups and this Queen of Swords, like you're finally, like you're putting some distance here from being like, you know what, the stuff from the past, you know, those cups have been spilled, right? You're no longer crying over spilled milk. You are almost now finally allowing yourself, Scorpio, to forgive yourself or not forgive yourself. I mean, maybe for some of you guys, Scorpio, forgiving yourself, but it's like forgiving certain situations for how they panned out um, that you initially reacted strongly to as the Queen of Swords, you're now able to have a much more understanding outlook on it and be like, you know what? I get it now, right? You're not, uh, there's a level now where you just are accepting things as they are. And that's just like the sense of uh, closure which is really powerful, right? So I love it, I love it, I love it, Scorpio. So we're gonna close out this reading for you now with some Oracle cards. And so give me a moment before, while I draw these cards out for you. Yeah, so we have the Snake Spirit coming in, number 55, uh, Time to Heal. Right, I feel like this has just been like such an insanely healing time for you, Scorpio. You have like, I don't know what's triggered it, right? But whatever it is, whatever you're getting closure on, whatever you are just finally coming to terms with and allowing yourself to just move past and truly move past, um, it really that was like the final thing that needed to just like remove that vast thing from your from your path that was like the last thing that was really blocking you um and like thing allowing things to really like that energy flow right if you subscribe to that thought process but um yeah it's just beautiful scorpio um yeah that's the reading that i have for you scorpio if you enjoyed this tarot reading be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonated with you